building on the success of the Sunday Drive campaign in 2010 that reminded people of the romance of driving and resulted in increased golf sales coinciding with the campaign, it was obvious to us that viewers connected the fun-to-drive message with the golf. But we also knew that we could increase people's emotional connection with the brand by pushing the message even further. The follow-up campaign focused on television with two sequential ads. The first shows how a golf helps a young man follow his heart and propose to his girlfriend. The second shows how the golf was along for the ride when the same young man spends his last night as a bachelor with his buddies. Both were designed to be distinctively Volkswagen, connecting with people's emotions and real-life situations. Then, to strengthen the emotional connection to the brand, we deployed a social media strategy to encourage people to connect with us to create the third ad in the series, giving consumers a sense of ownership of the brand, as well as a behind-the-scenes look at the work that goes into creating a TV commercial. The ads on television and YouTube drove to a custom-built app on Facebook. The app allowed people to submit potential storylines for the next ad. Then. After we wrote scripts based on the submissions, fans could then vote for their favorite script, the model of golf to be used in the ad, pick the cast, the music, and even be involved in the edit. We even streamed the entire shoot live all 14 hours of it. Good morning, Internet. This is the making of the making of. Over the course of six weeks, we proved that people actually do pay attention to Facebook, YouTube, and yes, even good old-fashioned TV ads. Monthly active users to the Volkswagen Canada Facebook page jumped over 140% to nearly 163,000, and our total number of Facebook fans exceeded 364,000. In the process, we garnered almost 120 million total media impressions, with over 2 million on Facebook alone, and $164,000 worth of earned media, or 5% of the original media budget. And if there's any remaining doubt about whether the campaign broke through, it's also worth mentioning that a few intrepid fans even made their own version of a drive and tail ad. So, how did that third ad turn out? Quite nicely, thanks to our friends and fans, we valued their input so much that on the internet you'll see that the ad ends with credits that include the names of all the fans who helped us create it. A fitting end to a great story.